Chattanooga Film Fest, part three. Iporanta. Requito echara, requité. is a Brazilian slasher film directed by Capel Furman and Armando Fonseca, and it tells the story of a cursed ancient mask that possesses its wearer to commit sacrificial murders. I didn't even know that this movie existed until the festival lineup dropped, and I had plenty of time during the entire festival run, so I decided to check it out. And you know, for what it is, Skull's a pretty good time. Truthfully, this movie didn't give me a lot to talk about, so this review is going to be pretty short. Skull is essentially a midnight movie. You're not there to see a good film, you're there to see the spectacle. And while I can't in good conscience call this a good movie, it's got plenty of spectacle. This is a low-budget film, and it's exceptionally clear where all the budget went to, because gorehounds are going to love this one. It's packed to the brim with brutal, over-the-top kills done with incredible practical effects. Hearts are ripped out, faces are sliced off, someone is strangled with his own guts. It's awesome. Unfortunately, that's kind of all Skull has to offer. A lot of memorable gore. Everything else? Secondary. The cop characters are exceptionally boring. The villains are cartoonishly over-the-top evil. The story ends up being both too simple and too convoluted, with Nazi experiments and corrupt cops and sleazy businessmen who want to capitalize on the mask and criminals who want to steal it for their own honor. All these different plot lines converging around a cursed skull mask that is in itself the vessel for the right-hand executioner of an indigenous god. And yet none of that stuff, none of those characters are even slightly memorable. You know what is memorable? The insane ultra-violence that happens every time the Executioner guy is on screen. No one is going to leave Skull going, man, I loved those characters. Like I said, if you're going into this expecting a schlocky midnight movie that doesn't want to do anything but satisfy your appetite for gore, I think you're going to have a good time. For me, it's kind of a background movie. A movie where you can have it on while you do other things and you don't have to pay too much attention, but you can occasionally look up and see some really crazy gory spectacle happening on screen. I'm gonna say that Skull is good for fans of gore and nothing else. It's a decently fun watch at times, at least when it's focused on the killer, and it's good for at least one viewing. I would recommend checking it out whenever it comes to the States. That's it. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like this channel and you want to see more, click down there, like, comment, subscribe. There's a Patreon link down in the description if you want to donate to this channel, help us make new, better quality content for you all to enjoy. You'd be like all these cool people right here, and I would really appreciate it a lot. There's all sorts of cool new rewards, anything from access to my private Discord server, to gifts sent right to your door once a month. If any of that interests you, please consider donating. I'd very much appreciate it, and I'll see you all very soon.